Hey everybody, it is Captain Britain here with World of Mist, and today we're not going to be playing Poseidon Agra. We are going to kind of go through a little series, and I realize I haven't played the default Mesoamerican deck, and eventually we will do default Horus. Um, but we're going to do default Queso, or I can't say the name, but we're going to do this deck for now, and then uh, we will, or default Queso and basically show how good it is um if we run into like a top player it's going to get destroyed but uh, these default decks aren't horrible they are a very great start and since they we have a lot of new players showing up with the mobile release i figured i might as well put out a video of each of the default decks and i've already done japanese norse and uh greek which were basically my first three videos. So you kind of got to see me go through them as a new player. These two, um, you'll see me kind of go through as a more experienced player and see how I play each deck differently and which temples I attack and even how I've been playing against AI. Um, because generally, if this thing takes a full minute, you're playing against an AI. There's Well, not necessarily, but that's one tip. Um, for the most part, if you're playing against an Egyptian deck, it's most likely a real player. Uh, you can tell around the bat if it's a player or not. If they have a different card back or a different temple or trophy or board or what what have you, they are a real player. Right now it's looking like it's an AI, but there's always a chance that it's not. Perfect. We have a great defender. And I have hair. Um, shiny Leprechaun, Slimy Leprechaun is in every single default deck, um, as is well-equipped Dreadwalker, and case of basically the idea with this default deck is you always attack with your leader. You kind of establish a board of some sort. Whoa! That's the new AI effect, or new visual effects that, uh... Pavel hinted at. Cool. I like it. I, oh, I see. I was like, why is it a tornado? But I never paid close attention to the art. And he's got like a wind uh, magic thing kind of going on. So with Keisu, well, since we're playing an AI, they are always going after the leftmost temple. There's another hint. We will just let them. I'm totally fine because this unit can't attack. Ares gives their left flank power, which for us as well is their left. So we will just we need to establish our board. So maybe even that turn four we should have played Storm Eagle rather than go ahead. But see, it doesn't matter if this guard has Ares as bonus; it can't attack, which means it's going to die. Ooh, what did you just play? Oh, he exhausted me. Darn. Well, let's go ahead and block this. And Ares is down, so I kind of wish we could attack, but we haven't. So let's just kind of establish more uh, dominance of the board. Because with, with, again, I, let me keep trailing off on my own thoughts because um, I'm also trying to read what the our opponent is playing so see like this Petrify Medusa is preventing this from attacking but honestly I don't mind it not attacking because for the most part Queso uh, you're going to be attacking with uh, but I'm not going to do it quite yet I still want to kind of establish uh, the board a little bit and we're going to go ahead and buff our bear here because our bear is awesome. And then I might feel comfortable uh, playing these smaller, cheaper units and attacking all at the same time. Medusa is annoying, but if they continue to attack with Medusa, uh, then we won't have anything to worry about. I'm totally fine letting this temple die because I hate messing with the left temple. Especially against an AI. Just, I'm gonna let them kill it. So, we are now 
We'll play Storm Eagle over here. We'll get Queso down and attack the rightmost temple. Man, that is a pretty cool effect. It's kind of excessive. Like, it seems to last a little bit longer than I would have expected. But, hey. And if he blocks with anything, he's wasting an endurance. And we are building endurance. So we, we're we very, very much set. But what is he wiping out? The Leprechaun? See, this is... AI makes stupid plays. Like, you want to do that, but... It's an AI. You can't really get mad at it. So they're doing 11! And another thing about the AI is they, if you put your leader on the board, they generally attack it after killing this left temple. I don't know why. So if you ever low on health, summon your leader. As long as you can defend your leader, of course, you don't want to lose. So let's praise the sun here. This will be seven. And then we just need six more so we can uh, play you. And we'll block with you as well. And we will take one damage because we do have, I believe, a few creatures that can heal Queso. So I'm not too particularly worried about that. There we go. Do we have a beast? Oh, we do have a beast. Bingo. Oh, let's share the love. Let's spread things out. And we're going to attack the middle. Dude, that is, that is just pretty cool. It needs to be like smoothed out like the ending there. This is kind of choppy. But yeah, if you attack the middle temple, you're forcing their your opponent to waste an endurance or sacrifice a unit from damaging the temple while you have a board and that's pretty much how you run this deck is you can attack with your creatures but you want to kind of prevent your leader from dying so oh uh, that's this is how you do it so let's we need to go here here and here and we're killing one unit basically at a time and yes I know the leprechaun will make this lose one uh, point but hey ooh, this is gonna be really really good we'll send it to that and then we can go back here and we'll just keep kind of clearing the board All right, my kid is may need assistance, but hopefully not. Hopefully we can at least finish this one game, because I can chop out the middle and add another game. But this Panzer Nagel is pretty much how you play him: is you just beef up a beast, and really this is a primary card for beast decks. So what do we have? We have couple creatures that we can play so let's we're gonna kill our bear that's fine because he's losing his beefy chubby stonita and we can play you onto this massive beast and we're gonna go ahead and kind of maybe that's a dumb move because I'm kind of going against what I have been saying where you attack with your own units. When you start changing the default deck, you can attack with your own units. And there's a couple cards that will basically negate Queso's effect for you. Uh, but they're not in the default deck, so you kind of have to play around that your units aren't going to be attacking. And if they are going to be attacking, you need to basically do what I did and be okay with wasting one power. We have 11 coming, again, at Queso. And if you're wondering why I'm calling it Queso, it's because I can't say this. And in the Discord, we voted on what we should call this guy. Thing. I don't know if it's guy. If you could actually accurately describe it as a guy. But, uh, yeah. And we have this really awesome panther that... Is this going to... Ooh, maybe we need to... Let's, let's also establish this guy. Yeah, we kind of don't do anything else, but that's okay. We can we can keep it up. We can keep uh, attacking and giving our panther endurance. Cause holy shoot, absolute seven power! Wow, if you reset this guy like with the story we told, 
he still has seven power. That's kind of cool because it's set. I like it. That's a that makes this card even better. I may come back on the my epic card crafting and up that card's points. Ha! Sixteen. We can just fight with these two. It's pretty amazing. Or we can. Yeah. We'll do. We'll do these two. He still has quite a bit of creatures. So let's play you down. And we're gonna go to the power temple. I'm not sure they don't block, but honestly they probably should save this paladin for something else because I have a super good board. Yikes, Kodos is bad. Kodos sucks. Man, that's a bummer. That is a pretty bad bummer. But we can counter this. We can make one, that guy will lose an endurance. We will block all of it by going here. Kodos is the only unit. He does gain a power. But. And then. You want? kind of want to play more kind of want to play the Dark Paladin but yet I kind of don't and yeah, we need to we need to waste the Dark Paladin so that we can kill Kodos because otherwise this is a this is a bomb <laughs> and he didn't block any of it but hey we guarantee that we could kill Kodos and we could kill the yeah we would have killed the temple had he blocked all of it so now we win essentially this is <laughs> we ran away with this but the default yeah default queso very good and let's just go nuts 14 attack which is there I mean had we Wolfsbane's drop been played on this, we would have been kind of screwed, but we didn't. So we have to keep our Panther alive and we got to win. So, as long as you're patient, you can win with this deck and tactful. All right, I'll be right back and we will continue this video. Okay. Sorry for the, well, I guess it's not really long for you. It's been a while for me uh, in between that break, but I am back. We're gonna keep that actually. Oh, perfect, we get a three drop. Hopefully we make this quick. Kind of hiccup, I did play another game, but then it disconnected me and kind of sucked. But it would have been very cool because it was actually against Horus and it was being a very difficult challenge because Horus likes his temples damaged and Queso is your main attacker in this default deck and Queso only does two attack or two damage if he actually hits and it obviously takes a lot of pings uh, to actually damage uh, or actually destroy a temple of Horus's and so it's frustrating with Horus because you can't really use Case's ability because Horus's ability then triggers multiple times. It's kind of annoying. There's Odin. I can kind of control. Kind of. Um, we're just going to let them hit because I hate this temple, but and honestly, I would I want to keep both of these. So... 
We need to. I guess I could just. We could do this. And we can. We can play this here. And we can attack this temple again to give our eagle more endurance. And now we can kind of set up the panther by playing Mastopus on the eagle to give it more power. Although right now it's being annoying. And here comes Odin because Odin is amazing. Odin with three attack. Okay, so needs three attack. <laughs> I think they hit the developers hinted at, um, or rather, I guess that um, Mesoamerican or Mesoamerican myths, the Mesoamerican mythology needed a leader with three attack because um, every other mythology has one, and it's generally the first. No, it's not. Hachiman is the second. Um, but still, I found that kind of annoying. So let's bump you. And we will keep buffing it. And there we go. We have killed one temple. Our eagle has two endurance. Doubtful monk. Not bad. Oh. Uh, it's an interesting one. Not really good in an Odin deck. But hey. Not my issue. Um, I hate to waste an endurance, but I think we need to. I mean, it's a fresh recruit getting it, but still. Don't exactly want a fresh recruit getting it. Ooh. Let's go here. And we're going to ping this temple with one. This card, I had a really awesome play with it. I kept one of my temples at one health, and this is your... Basically, if you have a temple with one health, that's your weakest. And so this destroys it, but yet its effect kind of doesn't really... Or it gets negated by having a temple with low health anyways. So... Just another way to play it, but now we can kind of have some fun because we can do a handful of things. Let's give this one more power. Let's have Queso come down. Ooh, and the big ol' effect. I love that effect. On a full board. And we're going to let them deal with the board. And I love doing that. I love my opponent dealing with my awesome board and just I continue to make an awesome board. But there are ways to improve this deck and I will, I'll probably do Queso because I'm kind of, I don't know, I'll do one of the default decks, uh, improving them. I might wait till the latest update and we will just block with all of that because we can. Although I probably should have blocked with something else because now I have no units to actually attack with. That's okay. We'll keep doing this. Because it's barking. <laughs> Although Wolf Spain's drop does suck. But again, we do have a total defender that can absorb all the damage going at Queso. They do have Fenrir. Norse mythology is the only one that can like pull a leader down. So really your leader taking damage all the way down to one is really pretty okay. Like all things considered. Uh, so that's how I would handle things. And I should have played that differently, but it's okay. Let's go you know, do that. Yeah, we'll do it again. And then we will hit this temple and we can maybe do an OTK next turn. It's not really an OTK. You can't OTK in this game. Unless you kill a leader. Which the only way you can actually do that is in Norse mythology with Fenrir. You can't really OTK anybody else's leader unless they summon the leader. Which if they summon the leader 
and you can set up an OTK. They probably made a mistake. But um yeah. Have at it because I win. Let's we're gonna buff you. And uh we'll play this one. Actually they can can they block all that? They're close. And they get exactly where A damage goes through. So Oh, I forgot they can't block with the monk. <laughs> okay, so there we, there you guys go. There's the default Mesoamerican the way I play it, and I would encourage you to play it as well because although I didn't get to show you a real opponent and how they interact with Queso, it's probably a good thing because it'd be a poor showing with how powerful Egyptian is. But there you guys have it. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Stay safe. Have fun. And try not to be bored while staying at home. Instead, play World of Mist, obviously. <laughs>